We have been waiting weeks, if not months, to tell you guys Corey's big news, and today we can do it. We can tell you. So without further ado, Corey, what are you gonna be doing? I'm gonna be a participant on Naked and Afraid. Yeah! Way up north in the state of Alaska lives a man, his wife, and kids. And this dude, he lives like hella because that's the way he is. What's up guys? It's a beautiful day here in Eagle River, Alaska. And yes, I'm gonna be a participant on Naked and Afraid. And oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited. You have no idea. You know how much of an adventurer I am. This is like the ultimate adventure. And oh, dude, it's gonna be awesome. Here's the thing though, guys. Even though I know a lot about survival, even though I'm a big outdoorsman, and I know I can do this, I still need your help. I need help from survivalists, anybody who is very knowledgeable about the outdoors, and building shelters, and having tools, and just all sorts of things. Anybody who can help me, please share this video with them. Now for the first big question, how do you feel about how this? How do I feel about it? I'm stoked, I'm excited. Yeah, let's- You're gonna be naked in the jungle for a while with somebody else, but it's gonna be awesome. No, I'm really, I'm really truly like thrilled about it. When we found out about this opportunity, uh, they, they contacted us. Um, it was actually Kristen who was like, do it, like instantly. Yeah. Instantly we're like, go, go do it, because please. I know you would love it. This is like a dream come true for you and you know it. It is absolutely a dream come true. All right, so here's the game plan. Uh, Discovery is allowing me to daily vlog out there, but those vlogs aren't actually gonna be on this channel on Live Each Day, however, this channel is still gonna be daily vlogging because Kristen is gonna be showing her reactions to the things that I'm doing out there. Plus her parents are gonna be here and they're gonna be doing all sorts of normal things that we would do on an everyday basis anyhow. So if you wanna see the videos of us, actually me, me <laughs> out there in the jungle, <laughs> subscribe to my other YouTube channel, SMP Films, uh, where Soon, in the next couple days, I'll start posting videos preparing for this whole amazing adventure that I'm about to go on. Guys, like I said, this is gonna be so freaking cool. It's gonna be good for kids, totally kid safe, so you can watch us with your kids and learn things. And yeah, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I cannot tell you how good it feels to finally talk about this. It's, uh, I've known about this for a while. Okay, so we are at Bass Pro. I've got to look for some survival items and I've got some gift cards that I haven't spent from like a long time ago. So that's cool. Uh, oh, by the way, don't judge me. These glasses are the only ones we could find. They're, they're in the glove box. They're in the glove box. You, you don't need glasses too much in Alaska, especially in the winter time, but when the sun's low like it is, oh man, it's terrible. Ugh. Okay, put them back on. All right, I'm gonna I'm I'm go in there. You gonna stay in here, baby girl? Yeah, she's sleeping. Yeah, well, you got the cool glasses. She's got the cool glasses. What? Ah, heaven. Seriously, this place always excites me. I come here and I just want to fish. I want to buy all the things. Focus, survival items, that way. The first thing I want to look at is uh, a yeah. machete. I want to get like a really nice machete. Uh, I thought about going with a smaller one like this because it's lighter weight and when I'm out there, you know, it's, it's not going to be so much to carry. A um, lot of good teeth on there so I can, you know, cut. It's like a saw, just turn it around. That'd be kind of nice. I don't know about the handle. I wish I could actually hold it to see if it feels good in my hand. Oh, look at that one. That's pretty. We got one here as well, but I feel like this one, uh, I haven't really heard anything about it. Plus, I kind of like the saw feature on the other ones. A Carnivore Max. See, this This is how it should be. This, I can, I can hold it. It feels pretty good. All right, this is fun, but I'm gonna start looking at other things. Another idea that I had was a mosquito net. Now I know this sounds kind of stupid to bring as a survival item, but this could be used for several different things. Number one, obviously, to keep the bugs off you. Where I'm going, there will be a lot of bugs and they're gonna eat me alive. So I feel like if I get something like this and I can keep bugs off of me, then I can get more sleep and sort of, you know, get back a little bit more energy to be more focused during the day. Plus you can use this for fishing and filtering and doing all sorts of other things. <laughs> How many of you guys would bring one of these? Or actually, how many of you guys would bring duct tape? Paracord would be nice, but I know there's gonna be a lot of cordage I can make out there. A high-powered flashlight, eh, needs batteries. It would die pretty quick. Ah, inflatable bed, that'd be nice. A personal water filter. A cooking pot's not a bad idea because you can use it to boil water and to dig with if you need to. Fire starter, that is a lifesaver. Oh my gosh, it saves you time, it saves you energy, it saves you from having to get the right materials to make fire. But at the same time, I'm really confident in my ability to start fire just by friction, so I'm gonna pass on that. Who knows though, dude, like the jungle, jungle's a little wet. 
realistically, I wish I could find something that like nobody's ever brought. Like something that's just so out of the ordinary, but then super, super useful, you know? Like, like I don't know, like what are some things that you could bring that are just not typical that would be super useful in a survival situation? What do you think of this store? There's lots to look at, huh? Lots of new colors for you. One thing Chell's starting to do that I think we both kind of love is hold on like this. Like she's gripping your shirt so hard right now. Mm -hmm. Just hugging and holding on. I like that she's like, she's been kissing a lot. Like she yeah. kisses all the time. It's just like, oh, and they're legit kisses. They're not like, oh, yeah. you know, face tastes. But uh, yeah, this this hug thing, this is new. Yeah, it's I love nice. it. Every morning she always just grabs onto me and like, it she's, makes me feel so warm and fuzzy mm -hmm. inside. She's getting cuddly. Mm -hmm. I do feel like though, Chell's gonna be vital to you, but she's also gonna like hinder Corey a little bit because he'll miss her and want to be home with her. But at the same time, that's something to look forward to when you're done and you don't get to come home until you're done. I will make it. I will make no matter what. Even if even if we don't find food, I know I'm gonna make it. Yeah. I'm, I will survive. We're eating at one of our favorite little Mexican restaurants. It's right by Bass Pro. But it's funny because this place, I feel like I I love it, but every time we come here, I second guess that. I'm like, do I do we like that place? Is that a good place? I figured out why. So much freaking food. Yeah, dude. Look at the size of my taco salad and then his burrito. That's what I'm talking about. That massive. looks like a good burrito. This is this is the first time I'm having this one too. And I love my burritos. I know, well. I know. I'm curious what your review on this one is. Well, so far the view is nice. <laughs> Something else I've been dying to talk about, but I haven't been because obviously I couldn't talk about it till now. But every time I have a meal, I am so thankful for this meal. <laughs> like knowing what I'm about to do is gonna make me wish I could have all of these meals all over again. So yeah, I feel like this this whole this whole thing is just making me more grateful for every little thing in my life. So as I'm sure most of you know from yesterday's vlog, I got the stuff, the materials that I'm going to use to harden up my feet because um, while I'm out there, I'm not going to have any shoes on. I'm naked. So <laughs> I need to harden my feet up. Problem is here in Alaska, there's no way for me to actually go outside and walk around barefoot because everything's frozen. In fact, right now everything's like wet and really soggy and it's just, it would be a bad idea. So yesterday, yesterday I went out and I got some gravel. Um, and I think it should be thawed out enough now <laughs> to be able to pour into these two containers. Um, but these are basically just planter bottoms that I'm gonna put a bunch of rocks and, and gravel in and then just step around in them while I'm playing some VR. I have a VR headset, it's really awesome. And I usually play that thing for like an hour a night. So if I can just stomp around on this stuff for about an hour every night, I think I'll be okay. Here's our gravel. Hopefully this isn't too messy, Kristen, if it is, I. Sincerely apologize. You know what? You love mopping so much. Oh, yes. Mopping. The greatest thing in the world. I hate mopping. All right. <laughs> Here we go. I'm just going to try, try my best to pour. Just a little mess. That's it. Just a little one. Oh, jeez. All right. So this is good. It's, it's not too frozen. It's a little bit damp, but I think we'll be fine. Oh, man. This is a mess. I don't care. Whatever. I can clean this up. This is why I didn't do this on the carpet. I just, I feel like I need, I need some harder stuff too though. Yeah. Yeah. Cause this feels like it's still a little bit soft. Well, maybe, maybe once it's not so wet, then maybe it'll, it'll harden up. You and... want like rocks though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there are rocks in here. Like, look, that's, yeah. There's a rock right there. I, a lot of people were saying you should get some Legos. Legos? Just yeah. randomly throw Legos in here? I think my only real concern about all of this is like, I, I don't want the dog to just start using this like a toilet. <laughs> you know, like, I'm not worried about the cats. The um, cat, well, the cats might too though. Yeah. Oh, that would suck. That would okay. be a pleasant surprise for you. So maybe, maybe what we're going to need is a cover for this as well. So we need two covers and a cleaning station for my feet. Yes. All right, guys, I've got other stuff I gotta do tonight. If you are as excited as I am about this whole journey that we're about to have, make sure you give us a thumbs up because this is going to be the coolest thing I think that has ever happened on this channel, besides the birth of my daughter, because that was pretty darn cool. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave some comments down below, let people know what's happening, and please, like I said, give me some help I can use, all the help I can get. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.
Saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm Heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm So much to see, so much to do And the best part